And good morning, good evening, hello. Um, this is a follow-up to uh, or a continuation of learning business central development from scratch. And this is actually a follow-up to the uh, development from chapter four of the AL for Beginners workbook. And if you recall at the end of that session, when we were testing the bonus setup, something didn't work quite right. So let's take a look at that. Oh, hey, stealing all my slides. Okay, um, so if you recall, when we went into the bonus setup page, we were able to create a new number series in Business Central and we are able to select that number series in the bonus setup page. And the idea is that when we create a new bonus record in the bonus card page, that number series would kick in, give us a next number. Very standard functionality for Business Central, except it didn't work. Um, I looked through the code, I looked through the table, the page, and there was no code in the AL for Beginners workbook uh, sample that apparently triggered the number series here, the number field, to go get the next number from the number series table. So I was like, huh, that's odd. So I double checked and I, I got feedback from someone else who went through the process and they agreed that uh, it wasn't working for them. Now, there might be something else later in the chapters. Um, I glanced at chapter five, I didn't see it, uh, but it looks like that might be one element that um, is missing from the um, AL for Beginners workbook. So I'm going to work with uh, Christoph to just verify that or get that updated. But this was an opportunity for me to try to figure out how to use number series. And um, it wasn't easy. Um, I know that every NAV and BC developer who knows what they are doing thinks this is just a no-brainer. It's, it's just transparent to them. It makes sense. This should be totally obvious. For someone who has never done this before, like me, it was not at all obvious. And there are some things I just do not understand. And from what I could tell, there's very little formal documentation on this. It's just kind of assumed that you know how to do this. So let's take a look and see what I, I have figured out. And I, I've cobbled together one solution. I don't know that it is the solution, but it appears to be a solution that kind of works. And I'll show you what I, I'm sensing is one of the limitations of that. So with that, unleash the coders and let's get started here. Okay, so, um, and Jeremy um, adds to the chat, it's not just you, it's not often documented as a how-to. And so I, I found a blog post, uh, which I'll show, but I do not see, or I'm unable to Google any Microsoft docs on this topic. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. And I, it's, it's baffling to someone who has never done this before. So um, here we have the bonus setup page. And so last time we, let me scoot this over. I was able to go and create a bonus number series here and I can select that. Great, so I've got my bonus number series, fantastic. But as I showed on that PowerPoint slide, if I type bonus, I can go into bonuses, I can create new, but my number field here stays blank. It is not grabbing the next number from my number series. So here is my attempt to figure out how to get that to work. Okay, so um, first of all, I did find Yun Chu's Awesome blog, awesome blogger, by the way. If you're not following him on Twitter or his blog, definitely follow him. Lots of great blog posts about, um, you know, a lot of basic stuff that I'm interested in. Like, how do you just do this? And he has whole code samples and videos and explanations of just 
very focused uh, features of Business Central. So he has this blog post on working with number series. And it is technically, I think, exactly what I want, but like I could read this five times and it just didn't sink in. Um, so let me just scroll down and this is what we want on, for instance, on the customer card, we have this number field and, uh, okay, he does mention it. So I'm just scrolling down and checking it out and see if it sinks in a little better. Um, yeah. Okay, so I, I'm going to try to kind of do my own version. Uh, one thing I found, I have three different code samples that supposedly all provide number series, but translating them to my table and my fields, or in this case, the um, AL for Beginners workbook tables and fields is just that simple translation, even line by line, just translating the tables and the field names got confusing for me. So I'm kind of slow though. Maybe it's obvious for other people. So I'm just going to show you what I did. Okay, so here in Visual Studio Code, let me make this a little bigger. I'm going to have to fit a couple things on screen. So we have our bonus header table. And as far as I can tell, you can implement number series and have the automatic numbering by only modifying the table. There may be some other functionality that you add at the page level to enhance that functionality, but I'm just gonna start simple and modify only the table. And I only need to implement this in the header table because that's where my, um, where is it? That is where my number is occurring. It's at the bonus card, which is my header. It's not at the line level. Okay. So the first thing, which I don't quite understand, is you need to add a field for the number series. And I, I'm sure there's a simple explanation. So what I'm going to do, but I, I don't quite get it because I haven't found documentation of it. I'm going to create a new field and just for speed's sake, I'm just going to copy this from the code I've already done. So we're create we're adding a new field to our bonus header table. And I'm calling that field 100, just arbitrarily chose that number. And we're calling that number series, no series, and that's code 20. Caption is no series, editable is false, table relation is no series. And table relation is a lookup to another table. So I'm assuming this is the lookup to the number series table. Okay, so essentially we're saying this bonus header record is associated with the number series table and this is the number series field that makes that link. Okay, so I kind of get that. Um, it's very different than what I'm used to, but that's the first thing I think I needed to do. Okay, next, we need to have some variables to start working with the number series. So under the keys, so under fields, under keys here, we have our var section, and this was just a, a placeholder from the template, I think. So I'm just going to paste into here. Oops, I don't need that extra var. So I'm going to add two variables. One is bonus setup, and that is a record referring to the MNB bonus setup table, which has our number series defined, which was bonus, as I showed you. Next is we're going to make a variable referring to the number series management code unit. And this is one area where I, as far as I could tell, there is a serious lack of formal documentation. Um, I was unable to Google um, number series management uh, and, and find anything that kind of made sense to me. So business and, but there's no docs. Oh, okay. 
okay, so this is a learning objective. So maybe I need to do this um, MS Learn course. Uh, but I was looking for just like MS Docs. Here's documentation on the number series code unit. I didn't see it based on a quick, very lazy, admittedly search. Okay, so we're going to create two variables, bonus setup, which is a reference to our bonus setup table, and then number series management, which is referring to the code unit. And I don't know if it shows what number that is, but number series management. Okay, now we're going to go up, we're going to create this trigger on insert. And again, um, let me just retype this just so we kind of see some IntelliSense and I talk through how puzzled I was trying to do this. Uh, come on, let's do this and this. Okay, so I'm going to create a trigger on insert on my table. Okay, and if my number, let me use IntelliSense, control space, Actually, let me go to F1. How do you present? Hmm. Um, I, f I always forget what the, uh, the thing is to present and show the keystrokes. So um, if my number field is blank, then begin. Okay. So on insert of a number uh, of a bonus record, bonus header table record, we're going to trigger this on insert event. This is my interpretation of all this. So we are going to refer to our bonus setup table because that's where we have our number series defined. And we're going to get a record from there. And there should only be one record with no primary key. And then we have our bonus setup, and we're going to test this field, which I'm assuming means check if there's a value in there. I haven't looked up all of these. Okay, test whether the contents of a field match a given value. We're not checking for a specific value, so I'm assuming this is just, hey, does this field have a value? Now we're going to call number series management. No series management. And it's init series. Okay, now look at this um, kind of IntelliSense parameters here. We have default number series code. This is where it gets, I, I find it very confusing. Old number series code, new date, var new number, var new number series code. Completely perplexing without documentation for me, but we're just going to run with it. Init series and I did my bonus setup table and this is referring to the bonus numbers and that's our number series so which number series do we have set up in our table and then we had I'm gonna have to make this wider okay then we had X rec dot number and my understanding is X rec is the current record before it has been committed or saved something to that effect and so if we hover back over here that is second parameter so that is default number series code old number series code so our old number series code in uh, is blank essentially so we're going to do xrec.number and um, okay so Jeremy is saying that uh, particular function footprint or in uh, signature with these parameters is one of the oldest in the product unchanged in a couple of decades which means it's super confusing uh, from the modern perspective and yeah I it is baffling. I'd love to have documentation of what do these parameters really mean? Can you explain this in, in like third grade English? Okay, so we have default number series, which is bonus setup, bonus number, and then we have old number series code, which is our XREC number field, 
before being committed. And now we're going to have a date, new date. And I'm assuming this relates to, um, in number series, you can have date ranges. So you can have this in your number series, you can have this range of numbers for this date range, this range of numbers for this date range. So for instance, maybe in 2020, we use this number series, but now that it's 2021, we need to use this new sequence all within the same number series. So we need to define what date we're talking about here. Is this backdated, future dated, current date? So you put a zero D here, meaning I'm assuming current date, okay? And now we're on to our one, two, three, our fourth parameter. So one, two, three, and this is var new number code 20. Okay, so interestingly, you use xrec dot number series. So this is referring to the number series field that we just added to our bonus header table. So it's the number series field on this table. And if you're confused, welcome, because I'm right there with you. And it says uh, that is our new number code. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I got it wrong. It's not X rec number series. It is just rec dot number. Okay, so that's kind of the place where we want this stored. So after the date, the parameter is new number. Okay, so we're gonna get the new number from the number series. Where do you want us to put it? Great, let's put it in our rec.number field. Okay, next, the last parameter is var new number series code. So just like we had a new number, this is in our header table, what it what number series was used to generate this and i'm guessing there's a lot of behind the scenes architecture about these number series like renumbering and things like that but we won't get into that um, so i'm going to do my current record and this is the number series field that i just added so if you are confused i apologize this is very confusing to me as well but the concept is that we have called this number series management code unit, and we have called init series, which I'm assuming is initialize this number series and give us a new number essentially. We are saying, go to the bonus setup table, go grab our number series that we've defined there. This is our blank number field that we, we wanna populate, it's the old value. We want a number as of today for our, from our number series. This is where we want to store that new number that was generated. And we need to store which number series was used to generate this number. And with that, that is our on insert trigger. Okay, now let me see if there's anything else. Okay, so now that we, we've done three things, we have added a new field to store the number series associated with this record. We've created variables for our bonus setup table and number series management code unit, and we have created an on insert trigger. And okay, so uh, Jeremy adds uh, a comment. For example, a customer have three may have three related number series for their items. This logic handles for you. Uh, can I change from number series item A to number series item B? And um, okay, that makes sense. So for instance, uh, that's a good point. This isn't just uh, storing um, the number series that was used. It also allows you to um, identify when you have multiple number series. And I'll show that on the customer. I don't remember if the vendor has it. I'll show that. On, let's just take a look at that really quick. So you'll notice our bonus card, this number field is just a field. It doesn't have a button here. But if I go back here and I go to customers and I create a new customer, one thing that I notice that is different, which I'm assuming is at the page level, we have this button here. 
this ellipsis button, we can it defaults the number series automatically. And also, I, I'm noticing this number is defaulted as soon as the page is drawn. I'm not having to tab off. So that's another thing I'm noticing different. That's I'm assuming is at the page level. For now, we're just going to be super simple, do it at the table level. And I'm going to click on this. And you notice I can technically could choose from multiple number series. I could have cust one, I could have cust two, maybe I have an external customer uh, or a, say a retail customer number series, or maybe I have a commercial or a business to business customer number series. So that's an example. And so on the customer page, we have this button to choose different number series during entry. On our bonus card page, we don't have that. We're just going to keep it super simple so that when we tab off, we get a number. So Jeremy is explaining. Um, yeah, so a customer may have multiple number series for a given record. And it checks, can you manually rename the number? Um, so for instance, can we have a customer here? Actually, let's just go to an existing customer. And can I call this Sam? And we're going to rename this record. And so apparently that logic uh, kicks in there. Um, so let me just delete this. And let's get back to our scary code. OK, so we've made those three changes so far to the bonus header table. If you're still following me, the next step is we need to tell the table, hey, by the way, I've set up this routine, this trigger, so that on insert, the number field can get a number series. OK, so we are going to add trigger on validate begin, end. Now, just looking at here, this is a trigger on insert. Um, just notice that. So on insert, it does this. So this is if the number is still blank. OK, so my interpretation of that is when a record is inserted in the table, not necessarily through the UI, you need to get um, a number for that. OK, but up here we have on validate and I th I'm going to guess this is a, the like the tab off event. So when you leave focus or leave that field, this on validate runs. OK, so again, this is just me copying code and trying to interpret it. If number does not equal xrec dot number. So if the current number does not equal the unsaved number, something like that, then begin. Okay, bonus setup dot get. So we're going to get the record from our bonus setup table. We're going to use the our number series management variable, which points to the number series code unit dot test manual. Okay. And that says, okay, it doesn't explain what it is. We're going to go to the bonus setup table, grab our bonus numbers, our number series that we define, and yeah, I don't understand this. Number series equals blank. Okay. So Jeremy has some, <laughs> Jeremy's probably <laughs> screaming at his computer right now. Steve, here's how it's, here's what it is. Okay, when you look at the number series for customer, that's the manually allowed checkbox. Yes, and so uh, that number series allowed uh, says, okay, it is okay for you to manually change that and manually enter a number versus forcing assignment from your number series. Yep. The number series code unit to just give the next number can feel like setting up a 50 meter tall crane to lift a pallet up one stair. Yeah, there's a little bit of setup and you might think it would be really nice when I add a number field, can I just call it a number series field and 
point to my setup table and have it kind of magically do this, but obviously there's a lot of history here. So the on validate trigger is to handle that mal oh, manual allowed checking. Okay, so thank you, Jeremy. So he's saying, if I go and change the the number for a given record, the, oh, the on validate, oops. The on validate is saying, okay, um, this guy, Steve, he just changed my XREC number. He called it Sam. And if that is not match the number, let me go to my bonus setup table and number series management, test manual bonus setup. So get the bonus, the number series and set the number series equal to blank. Okay, so I think that's, if I go off-roading and change my number, it's going to clear out my number series field so it knows, okay, you did not use a number series for that, um, that field. Okay, so number equals blank, get your setup in its series. Okay, and I think the key that I'm missing here is this is, let me hover. You see where it says var new number code 20? We're sending in rec dot number. And so when this init series kicks in, it's, save, it's sending the um, next number from number series to our field called number and that's populating our field. So that test manual call should really use number series in the record though. Okay, so let me see if I can figure out Jeremy's suggestion. Test manual should really use the number series on the record. Oh. Okay, so instead of bonus setup. Okay, so let's take a look and see if Yoon's blog post has this. Yep, test field book numbers. Well, this is book numbers. Oh, no, that's on insert, sorry. Okay, so on validate, sales setup book numbers, huh? That's the number series. Bonus setup, bonus numbers. Okay, so I, I don't know um, if anything's wrong here, but this seems to work. So if you're still here, you're still conscious, let's give this a try. I'm going to do Control F5. Okay, so we had our bonus setup, and um, we're going to go back to our bonus card. Let me, okay, so it says, okay, I've detected a change here. Yes, I get it. And now let's go to bonus. We're gonna go to the bonuses list, click new, and I'm just gonna press tab. Ah, uh, the record already exists. Okay, so I have record in my table. How do I clear that out? Um, I was testing this before I went live, so let me see if I can get that cleared out. So I'm going to go to my launch.json. I'm going to enable schema update mode recreate to try and recreate on my table, see if that does it. Otherwise, I'm, I think I'll have to delete. Okay, so. We're going to select our number series here, bonus, peachy. Okay, so now I'm gonna try this again. Go to bonuses, new, moment of truth. There we go. So the changes to just the table to enable the number series through those, I think, four changes roughly that allows you to hit tab and have the next number populated from your number series. Now, you notice two things that do not appear as refined as, say, the customer page. One is, on the customer page, this field is populated as soon as the page is displayed. You don't have to tab off the customer number. 
two, we don't have that ellipsis button. So maybe I'll do that in an advanced session if I can figure out how to do that. So for instance, here you see two things are different, immediately have a number, we don't have to tab off the field, and then we have this allowing uh, this button allows us to choose different number series. So this is kind of the basic, uh, very simple version. And um, so that gets you work, gets this page working, and it only required a change to the table, not to the page so far. So um, let me see. Uh, so Jeremy is saying, uh, in case the user has changed the item B series, you want to see if item B allows manual. Um, under the hood, it's also now modify called the bonus number series. Okay, yeah, so I apologize. Uh, obviously, live stream chat is not the, the best method of communication, kind of like Twitter, hard to have a conversation. Um, so maybe I should have a thing where pe people can connect and, and explain what's going on, connect to the live stream. Um, but anyway, this is the very rudimentary um, approach and uh, just recapping with Yoon's blog post here. Let's see if we recognize all the elements. Okay, so add a number series field in our, um, in our table. Um, automatic assign. Okay, let me just look at the code. So there's our number Oh, there's a table relation. Yeah, so it seems to be scenario specific and it's hard to translate some of these examples into your particular implementation. So here's our book numbers, okay. That's our number field in his case. And in the table, the book table, he has a number field, trigger on validate. And I think our code is exactly the same. Sales setup dot get or in our case, um, bonus setup dot get and number series management test manual and it tests our number series and then, oh, sets no to blank. Maybe that's what you're referring to. I'm not sure. So that is one difference. So here he's saying the number should be blank and here, I'm saying number series is blank. Okay, let's make that change. No equals. Okay, that kind of makes more sense. Oh, okay, so there, uh, Jeremy's saying there might be a few typos in uh, the blog post. Let me see if this works. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to edit. Bonus, okay. I'm going to go here. And bonus, bonuses, new. I'm going to tab. Okay, so this works. Now what happens if I say Sam? Do you want to rename the record? Yes. Okay, so that doesn't work. Okay. Okay, and so Jeremy's saying it should be a blank number series. So now let's go back here, let's close these. Okay. Republish. Okay. And since I'm doing um, doing whatever that option is, uh, schema update mode recreate, which you just never do in production, um, but I'm just doing that to reset everything. Okay. So we choose the bonus setup again. Okay. Now I'm going to type bonus. Okay, and I'm going to tab. There's B004, and I'm just going to leave that. Now I'm going to go back in, call that Sam, rename. Okay, so that worked. And so 
yeah, in this case, it looks like you do need to clear. Let me just turn this off. You do need to clear the number series field, not the number field. Okay, so I think what I need to do is have a, um, a live stream with another person like Jeremy who knows what they're doing. And maybe we have a session where we talk through all of this and get some explanation and find some documentation and and really see what's going what under better understand what's going on here so i was able to cobble this code together with the help of a colleague of mine who has done this with number series i borrowed that i found yoon's blog post and then i kind of translated this for this particular bonus setup table or bonus header table and it works but um I don't yet fully understand it. And if I had to do this from scratch, I wouldn't be able to do it. I would have to copy from the sample code and kind of blindly uh, repeat what it's saying here. Um, so uh, hopefully I can learn more about this. So anyway, the goal was to get the bonus card page so that it could get the next number series. And that at least is working. So pat on the back applaud because we at least got that far don't necessarily understand exactly how it's working but it is working so with that i'm going to end my punishment and your punishment and have a good day give this a try i apologize it was so messy but this is just me trying to figure things out and learn and um yeah let me know how it goes for you so with that, have a good one, start writing some code, and enjoy.